Hi, uh, みなさん、こんにちは。You です。Hey guys, this is you from the Coffee Fukuoka channel. So today we'll be doing a coffee review. So today we'll be using the beans from、uh, Coffee Fuku. So, guys,、um, basically, this coffee bean is、uh, called Robusta. It's a coffee variety called Robusta. And、uh, Robusta is、um, a very different coffee family compared to、um, Arabica. Because the coffee beans that you usually find nowadays is mostly Arabica. And、um, Robusta used to be used quite a bit, but it's、um, inferior in quality to、um, Arabica. Because It grows easily, it、uh, doesn't need any high altitude to grow, it、um, is very resistant to diseases, and、um, I think the disadvantages is、uh, the cons are that it doesn't taste as good, it doesn't have that good of a fragrance, and、um, when you compare it to、um, Arabica, it's not the best quality, and that's the reason why most people have started to use Arabica.、Um, But、um, it's really good to cut costs. So that's why you find sometimes some companies who make blends or coffee beans,、um, they always have a blend of Robusta and Arabica. But you are even finding less and less of that because nowadays, you know, you see a lot of coffee companies, they are putting out 100% Arabica. And the reason is because of that history with using Robusta.、Um, so it's usually very difficult now to find Robusta. And there's not that many good qualities of Robusta coffee. So, most coffee shops don't even think of them.、Um, it's mostly Arabica, or almost everything is Arabica. So, in that sense, it's very, very rare to find a coffee shop that's just selling Robusta and that they roast it in a way that you know, it tastes good actually. And Robusta is also actually also known to, be, to go really well with、um, milk drinks,、uh, milk beverages. So, this is because、um, I also tried a cafe latte at his、uh, cafe. It was really good with the Robusta. It was very good. So I think it's really nice, even I think by itself, but also when you mix it with milk. So we are gonna give it a try today. So I don't know, guys, if you can see properly, but the beans are super tiny, super small, and they are really, really round. So they are really thick when you compare it to、um, Arabica. Arabica is a lot、uh, longer and、um, it's like an oval shaped, but the,、um, the Robusta is more like round shaped, and then the thickness is quite,、uh, it's quite thick compared to Arabica. So, today we'll be extracting 200 ml s using 18 grams of Robusta coffee.
So today I'll be using the uh, Hario Beaker, the Sanyo One Hole Dripper, and then um, I'll be using the Yukiwa Pot. So guys, um, the type of smell that I'm getting, the fragrance, is um, it's kind of like this muddy, uh, woody kind of um, sort of smell. Um, I feel like I'm sort of smelling a bit of this Indonesia, Sumatra type of coffee. And I also get a bit of a nuttiness, some kind of a nuttiness. But it's more grounded, like down to earth kind of a smell. So the water temperature I'll be using today is 84 degrees Celsius. So um, the coffee, I um, I basically adjusted the concentration after extracting about a hundred mils um, for this one. Itadakimasu. So guys, um, the Robusta is actually really, really good. Um, I would say that this is a really good coffee when you want to um, when you want to be satisfied after a long, I don't know, a long um, 
trek along the um, forest or like you go hiking or something and you want to like have a nice drink of a cup of coffee you want to feel that coffee that's what it's really good for and also when it's like raining outside and you sort of want to feel like you're at home and you know you are like in a cozy place i think that's this coffee is really good it is more of like the city um full city roast so it, it is on the darker side but it's really really good I also get a bit of this nuttiness, um, like coconut tea or cacao type of uh, nuttiness. And um, yeah, a little bit of like buttery kind of um, taste as well. There's a bit of this um, kind of an unpleasant aftertaste, which is a bit like cardboard. Um, but it's not that like noticeable um, and I guess it also depends on people how they interpret it but that's how I interpret it as well and um, I think this uh, Robusta will go really really well with um, any kind of like coffee beverages so with milk I think it goes really really well and you can also like add sugar or like honey or something and I think it will go really well so if you're the type of person who doesn't want to waste your single origin by mixing it with milk or sugar um, something like the robusta or maybe like a really dark dark roast is going to go well uh, because they pair super well with like milk and um, honey and like sugar and those kind of things um, so that would be something i would recommend so guys um, if you ever have the chance to find robusta um, 100 percent and um, you can you know you can have it make sure you have it um, it's a bit different from arabica but i think you'll really really like it um, and you'll i guess it's just a, a new perspective and you know it's really nice to open up your perspectives and try out different things i would also recommend you try out the robusta with milk because it goes super well so yeah if you ever have the chance please try that out I will also leave a link down below. Um, if you ever come to Fukuoka, you can visit Fu uh, Coffee Fuku. Um, it's a really nice place and the owner there is a really lovely guy. So um, I think you'll like it there. Alright guys, I will see you in the next coffee video. See you!